Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today in this video, we're gonna be going over standalone cameras and how to set them up in their most basic form. What this is gonna include is plugging in the camera, hooking it up to a network, and then finally initializing it using the Monoview Go mobile application. So let's get started. First of all, what we mean by standalone camera is using any Monteview IP camera without the use of an NVR. Not using an NVR does have its pros and cons. Mainly the biggest pro is that it is cheaper, obviously because you don't have to purchase the NVR and the hard drive that comes along with it. The cons are that you're limited on recording capacity simply because you can only fit a micro SD card into each camera, which topping out at 256 gigabytes, you're looking at about two to three days of recording time. Uh, these cameras are capable of recording on motion only, which could extend that recording time. So it's something to think about when you guys are setting these up. Another con to not having an NVR is if you guys choose to have one or more cameras, there is a complication where you have to interact with each camera individually, whereas an NVR provides you a single interface to manage all of your cameras at once. So if you guys are getting more than two or three cameras, I probably advise you to get an NVR. But if you're gonna continue using a couple just single cameras, then we're gonna watch this video to see how to set them up. So first off, you have two different methods of how to plug these cameras in to get them power and integrated into the internet. First of all, you wanna plug into a PoE switch. This is your first option. To do that, you need a PoE switch, just like this one. And then you're gonna basically plug in the ethernet cable to one of the regular ports. Done. So the PoE switch is gonna actually provide the power as well as the information transfer to the camera. And then of course, to get it to the internet, the PoE switch needs to be plugged into a router. So you wanna go from the network port on your PoE switch. Now all of them have this. It may be called an uplink port for some of those PoE switches that we don't sell. Uh, but for ours, it is this one. Boom, just like that. Now uh, the camera is ready to be found on our Montague Go mobile app. So the second method of plugging your camera in, if you guys don't want to use a PoE switch, is to use a DC 12 volt adapter to plug your camera into a wall outlet. So how this is going to work is we will take our DC 12 volt adapter, the end looks like this, and then we're gonna plug it into the adapter piece on your guys' camera. All right, so then we just wanna plug that into the router directly from there. So the camera is getting power from the wall outlet and the information transfers straight to the router. Now we do see some people plug these directly into a computer or they'll plug them directly into a modem. Unfortunately, this doesn't work simply because the router's job in any network is to hand out IP addresses, which our cameras need in order to talk to the internet. And unfortunately, computers and modems aren't capable of doing that. So we want to plug it directly into a router if you guys are going through a power outlet. Most PoE switches will have indicator lights on the front. And what those are going to tell you is an uplink. And they're also going to tell you if it has power. And this is really useful to tell if your camera is actually receiving signals from the unit or if it's being powered. So refer to these lights when you get the camera plugged in just to make sure everything's working properly. All right, for this next step, we need to initialize the cameras, which basically involves logging into their interface and getting them started. We can actually do all of this with a mobile phone. So as long as you guys have a smartphone, let's go ahead and get that out. And what I'd like you to do is download the Montevideo Go mobile application. It is free to download. So go ahead and open up your app store, type in Montevideo Go mobile, and then go ahead and download that. Once you guys open up the program, First time users, you'll be prompted with choosing United States, country of origin, language, all that boring stuff. So go ahead and just cycle through that. And we wanna to get to the home screen. So once we're at the home screen, we're gonna press the plus button in the upper right corner, and we're gonna choose online search. Now, as long as your guys' phone is connected to the same router that your guys' cameras are, this will work just fine. If you guys aren't, go ahead and open up your Wi-Fi settings for your phone and connect to your guys' local router right now. Once you're connected, go ahead and do that online search. And you'll see here, it's gonna find all my devices that are plugged in. Now, this is Montevideo headquarters. So we have quite a few devices. 
So my advice would be to locate your serial number and that is basically on this little tag below. And as soon as you have your serial number, you should be able to identify your camera on this list if you guys do have more than one. So once you got that serial number picked out, we're gonna find that on the list and we're gonna see here that my IP address is 192.168.0.218. Now that I know that IP address, I'm gonna actually copy it on this page. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to open up any web browser. Now I'm gonna do this on my phone, but again, you guys can do this on any PC or Mac as well. And then in the address bar at the very top, we're gonna to put in that IP address. So I'm gonna hit search and it should bring you to a login screen for that camera. And now we have the opportunity to initialize that device. So I'm gonna go through the initialization process. Again, we're gonna be choosing country of origin, language, video standard should be NTSC. All right, after we set our location settings, we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And this time we're gonna choose our time and date settings. So first of all, I'd like you guys to choose your time zone. For me, I'm gonna choose mountain time. That's where Montana is. Okay, after I've chosen my time zone, then I'm gonna set my time. Keep in mind, this is military time, so it's gonna use the 24 hour clock. And once you guys have that set, make sure you have the correct date chosen, and then we're gonna hit next. The next screen, it's gonna ask us to create a password. Your username will always be admin in all lowercase letters, A-D-M-I-N. So really we're just creating a password for this device and that's about it. You'll probably wanna enter in an email down below. This is just in case you guys ever forget your password. We're gonna use this email in order to recover it in the future. So once we have that, let's go ahead and hit next. And as soon as we get this camera initialized, it's ready to go and to access it from this point on, all you gotta do is remember that IP address and you can either access it through your computer or your mobile phone. Again, as long as you're in the same network as your cameras. If you guys are outside that network and you wanna access it, what we can do is we can add it to the Montague Go mobile application. In order to add it to the app, what we wanna do is let's go ahead and open it up again. Let's go to the home screen and we're gonna press that plus button in the upper right corner. This time we're gonna choose serial number scan or SN scan. And then we're gonna choose manual enter at the very bottom. So once we choose manual enter, it's gonna prompt us to type in that serial number. And again, it is found on the camera itself or you should have that serial number on the login page. And remember to capitalize each letter and any zeros you guys encounter are actually the number zero, never the letter O. As you can see, I put in my serial number and if it asks you to choose local or account, make sure we choose local. If it doesn't prompt you guys with this, that's fine. That's actually better. But if you guys are seeing these two options, we always wanna choose local for all of our devices. So we're gonna hit next and it should take us to a type of device screen. So we need to choose wired camera on this screen. So if we reach this next screen, that means your guys' camera is online. Everything's working well. And here it just wants to ask us for our credentials. So here a device name, this can literally be whatever you guys wanna call it. This is totally custom. This is how it's gonna show up on your application's homepage. Then finally, you just need to put in your guys' password that you just created for that camera and go ahead and hit save in the upper right corner. Now, once you guys hit save, it should bring up a live view of that camera. And now you've successfully added it to your phone and this should be able to be viewed no matter where you're at in the world. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. And if you guys have any trouble plugging in these cameras or getting them going, Feel free to call tech support. We're here Monday through Friday to answer any questions about this or any other aspect of the Montague systems. As always, I really appreciate you guys checking out our videos. Please like and subscribe down below. It lets you guys get notified when we're dropping new content. Speaking of that, we will be releasing an advanced standalone video, and this is gonna delve more into the logging into the interface and more of the intense options that you can do from a computer. So stay tuned for that one. Thank you for checking out one of you guys and you have a fantastic day.